Hey guys, I am Verver Game. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Part 135. In the last episode, we finished the Altar of Salvation. And in this episode, we're gonna go to the Romer Encampment. Altar of the Forgotten Past. Let's do this. So I'm hoping this is somewhat simple. Can I go in? No. Hello. Ah, it's rare indeed for us to have visitors. I'm only sorry that we cannot give you a proper Rome or welcome. This is a difficult time, you see. La La, our most gifted dancer, has been struck down by grave illness. All we can do is offer up our prayers and most sacred ritual dance. Okay. The horses don't have anything to say. Hello. I'm dancing my heart out, but it's no good. Poor Lala is as sick as ever. I suppose I'm just ungraceful enough. Perhaps only those with her talent have what it takes to get the Almighty to sit up and take notice. I'm not dancing for fun, no. I'm performing a most sacred ritual, calling out to the Almighty to cure Lala. I hope it works. Before Kiefer set off, he vowed that he would save his wife's life. He always seemed so cheerful and carefree. It was something of a shock to see him looking so serious. Kiefer and Lala were really meant for each other. They really have been inseparable since they married. It's just such a tragedy that this had to happen. Truly, the Almighty moves in mysterious ways. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming we have to save Lala. Ooh, 13 gold coins. Kiefer's the best. He's our guardian. His job is to protect Lala. She's our sacred dancer. When he left, he said he was going to find a way to cure her. The guardian of the Romer would never break a promise. He said he'd help her, and he will. Lala dances for all our most sacred rituals. We cannot afford to let anything happen to her. That's why we are performing a dance of our own. We are trying to encourage the Almighty to intervene and restore her to health. Greetings, Gaho. My name is Ron Barrow, and I'm the leader of the Romer clan. On behalf of all my people, I bid you welcome. In the normal run of things, we would eat, drink, and make merry to celebrate the appearance of our guests in our midst. However, I'm sorry to say that you have chosen an inopportune moment to appear. The sad truth is that young Lala, who dances for us at all our rites and festivities, was attacked by a monster and has been struck down by terrible and mysterious malady. We've done all we can to try to cure her. Herbal remedies, prayers, ritual dances, but nothing has worked and she continues to suffer terribly. As a last resort, Lala's husband Kiefer has set off in search of a rare gem that's said to have the power to cure all ailments. However, he has not yet returned. We were expecting him to be home by now and I confess to being a little concerned. Lad is a brave warrior who can hold his own against any foe, but could some misfortune perhaps have befallen him? Please understand that I do not make a habit of asking strangers for assistance, but it seems to me that Providence has brought you to us. I ask you humbly to help us in our hour of need. We search for Kiefer and aid him in his quest to find the precious healing gem. So, sure. Marvelous. Thank you, kind stranger. Now, thank you, Kiefer. Said he was heading to the mine where these precious gems are to be found. The gems are known as Rainbow Rocks, and as that melodious name might suggest, they come in a range of colors, but Keeper is very specific about the hue he wanted, green. All we can do now is pray that you succeed on behalf of my people. I beseech you, find Keeper, get that green gem, and save Lala's life. Come on, Keeper. Have we spoken to Keeper? Blah, 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 the mine, green. Um, items. Maybe item bag. Um, green. We have a green eye. We're gonna see if we can do this. Oh no. Okay, let's go find Kiefer in the Rainbow Rock Mines or whatever. Okay. Let's do this. I'm choosing to believe this won't be that bad. Rainbow Mines. And we have to find Kiefer. Magic. Hero. Holy protection. Let's try to find Kiefer, I guess. Are you Kiefer? No. Oh, somebody's looking for green gems. Cool. I 
I don't see Kiefer thus far. We have red. Magic, hero, holy protection. Skisei. Okay. Okay, so we've found yellow, blue. What about green? Hero. Okay, so I'm assuming this is like a puzzle and we have to like hit the colored rocks into the same... Oh, no, it's fine. A uh, holy protection wore off. Why can you not move this? Oh my god. Okay, so we have to do it this way. Um... Ooh. Um, I think we've already messed it up. Yeah, I think we've already messed it up. Ooh, this is not great. Okay. Let's try this again. I feel like we have to... Do the blues. Like... Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the guy, because I'm not... <laughs> okay. Um... Push the first blue gem to the left. Destroying the one in the center. No, that's not. Push the northern of the central red gems to the north and circle around and push the two yellow gems together at the top. Huh? I can't push the yellow ones. Um... I can't push... Huh? Push the blue gem to the left, destroying the one in the center. Next, push the northern of the central red gems to the north and then circle around. I can't push them up. I can't push them up. I can't push them down. Like, this should free up the blue gym in the northwest, allowing you to push it south. Huh? Oh, I can push it like this, and it'll go up. Okay. I was not getting that. That was very confusing. Okay. Oh, it was this that it was talking about. Okay. The blue gem to the left, push north, push the northern of the central red gems to the north, then circle around and push the yellow gems into each other. Okay. Then the blue 
And then bam! Yay! Okay. Oh god. Bamba goblins. Um, spells. Kisses. Reb. Kakrak. Serena. Kaswoosh. Hero. Zap. I'm hoping this is... Okay, yeah, it's simple. Thank God. Yay! Victory! Magic! Holy protection. Um... I'm assuming we just need to go down... Help, help, can anyone hear me? Oh, shit. I'm in a bit of trouble here. I need help getting out. Okay. Hi. Um. Oh, God. This is... I guess we push the purple ones into each other. Hero, holy protection. Then... Like this. And this. There. There. And then we can push this one down here. Oh, I feel like we should have... No, we're fine. And then push the purple ones. Hello. Thanks, I owe you one. I've been in this mine before, so I thought it would be a doddle getting through it, but I ended up in a bit of a jam. I was just taking a closer look at the rainbow rocks, and I tried giving one of them a shove. It must have triggered something, because before I knew it, I was trapped. I'm just glad you came along when you did. What are you doing all the way down here anyway? What's that? Rombaro asked you to come come and search for someone called Kiefer. Well, you found your man. I'm him. Suppose I haven't gone a while. Everyone must be worried. Well, I appreciate you coming and looking for me. And everything's worked out too. I found what I was looking for. This green gem here will fix Lala up in no time. Now if you'll excuse me, I can't keep my wife waiting a second longer. You're not going anywhere. Uh, where did you come from? Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I've got places to be, so if you wouldn't mind budging your back I... Big backside? Did no one teach you manners? Boy, I am obstructicus. My master ordered me to... St st stime... To stime me? To block and to impede all who dare come here. Yet now you attempt to turn the tables to prevent me from discharging my duties? That is unforgivable. Enough is enough. You presumably an annoying... Supremely annoying and must pay the price. Uh, this is just what I need. Normally, I'd be more than happy to take on this big along, but I'm afraid I'm a bit lacking in any weaponry, the de weaponry department right now. <laughs> you're pathetic. Perhaps your companions will offer more of a challenge. Wait, you heard the man. Sorry to do this, but I'm going to have to leave this one to you. Good luck and all that. Obstructicus draws near. Fight! Um... Kafriz, Rab, Kazam, Serena, Kaswoosh, Hero, Zap. Okay, that's good. Is Obstructicus difficult? I don't think so. It has like 2000 HP though, Jesus. Okay, that's good damage, good damage. What about Kafriz? Oh, that's cute. 331. Ugh. Kerfuffle? Rab can't use abilities. Serena can't use abilities. Okay, that's fine. Nobody really uses abilities. 
Kafrizzle. Ooh, yeah, Kafrizzle. And then Rap can do Kazam. Serena can do Kaswoosh. And then we'll have Hero do... Let's do like an Earth Splitter. Yay! 400, not as good as Rab, but sure. Kazam! 244, I guess we just got a crit last time. Oh, yay! Snaps to us. Is that an 11,000 experience? Defeating Obstructicus appeared to have restored the Rainbow Rocks to their original color. You're tougher than you look. I'm impressed, in fact. You remind me of an old friend of mine. But this isn't the time for a trip down memory lane. I have to get back to Lala right away. Now, you one, you really got me out of a jam. Head back to the Romer encampment. I'm sure they'll find a nice reward for you. Go back to the Romer encampment. The green gem. Okay, so magic. Evac. Yay! Hopefully we never have to come back to the Rainbow Mines again. I remember it being terrible when we went through it the first time. But yay! We've done this. Romer Encampment. What do I get from this? We get... Ever since Kiefer and Lala first set eyes on each other, it was clear they were meant to be together. I hope that they put this horrible business behind them and enjoy many more years of health and happiness. I understand that you came to Kiefer's aid. If it wasn't for you, Lala might never have been restored to health. Your kindness means she will live to dance another day. Sorry, I have to take all this shit, to be honest. Woohoo, I'm overjoyed that Lala has been restored to health. Even my Torbon is happy. Does that mean Turban? As dancers, we cannot hold a candle to Lala, but it seems the Almighty answered our prayers nonetheless. It's just such a relief to see her dancing once again. Truly, Lala is the greatest dancer of all. Her grace, her beauty, none can compare. I'm not sure if I've ever seen Kiefer look so happy. Well, it is no wonder. His beloved wife is her old self once more. Yippee, hooray! I knew it. I knew that Kiefer could do it. He told me that you gave him a little help beating a big bad monster. You're the best. Okay, yay. Hi, Lala. Greetings, noble Gajo. My husband told me all that you did for him and for me. I owe you my life. I hope he did not cause you any trouble. Dear as he is to me, I am not unaware of his faults. When he is focused on something, he can sometimes fail to take full account of others. In any case, you rescued him, and I am forever grateful to you. Know that they are all, you are always welcome here. Ah, uh, there you are. It's good to see you. I am happy to report that my dear wife is back to her old self and dancing like an angel once again. She's very important to the Romers, you see. The dances she does allows them to maintain a sacred bond with the Almighty, or something like that. And my job is to protect her. It was touch and go for a while, but everything worked out in the end, and we owe it all to you. Yay! We're forever indebted to you, most honorable Gajo. What is a Gajo? Thanks to you, Kiefer made it back with the green gem he saw. That gem is powerful indeed. No sooner did he bring it to Lala than she leapt from her sick bed, brimming with energy. On behalf of all roamers, I would like to thank you for what you have done. Please accept this humble offering. We got a file of Yggdrasil do. There's one more thing. Curious though it is to relate, it seems there was some kind of inscription on the green gem that Kiefer brought back. I'm afraid I do not have the faintest clue what it might mean, but I wanted to share it with you. Oh. What did I get? The Roamer encampment has been added to the list of locations you can travel to you can travel to from the altar of the forgotten past. Oh, we got another one. Okay, cool. So we get another Roamer encampment quest. You completed come on Kiefer quest. Good work. Yay! Okay, time to go, I guess. What does the Romer encampment have in store for us? On, I'm assuming, like, a, maybe it's like a night stage or like Romer encampment later on. Romer encampment, night. Let's do this. Oh, I like the ambiance already. Though, if it were just regular Torbon strings that had been cut, we could find a way to repair them. But the Torbon of Truth is a different matter. It's an instrument. It is a sacred instrument that has been handed down through the generations and is the only Torbon that can be used to awaken the Almighty. I remember well the young adventurer who restored it to our people. And now, after all the effort he went to, some vandal has gone and cut the strings. It's unthinkable. 
dum da dum da dum whatever. I'm not sure what Rombero was thinking when he suggested we master the air turbine. It doesn't feel like something a grown-up should be doing. I better not complain. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. Have you spoken with Lala and Kiefer yet? I really think you should. Our people have been suffering one setback after another recently. I think they'd appreciate having someone outside the clan to talk to. We've spent our lives listening to the sound of the turbine. Now, even without it, I can't... St I can still somehow feel its mel melodies and rhythms reverberating within me. In fact, if I had a little dream of our sacred drink, the water of life we call the spirit of the dance, I'm sure I could dance up a storm. This is the most sacred ceremony of the Romer people, where the music of the Torben and the rhythm of our dancers intertwine to form a prayer to the Almighty. Well, that's the idea anyway, but some terrible individual sliced through all our Torben strings, now we're reduced to pretending to play. It's not the most dignified display, but what can we... What choice do we have? Now sit back and enjoy the world's first air torben concert. You know, when they first suggested that they sing the torben parts while I dance, I thought they'd lost their minds, but it's actually not so bad. I can still feel the rhythm of the music flowing through me, even though if it's not quite the real thing, I feel like my feet have a mind of their own. I still can't believe it. Someone sneaked into our camp and cut all the torben strings. Who would do a thing like that? It's not fair. I wanted to be a torben player when I grew up. I've been practicing since I was tiny, but now I'll never get my big chance. Hello. Ah, uh, how marvelous to see you again. As you will have noticed, things have changed somewhat since you left, or since last we met. Allow me to explain that since time immemorial, my people have traveled the world and used our most sacred music and dance to pray for the restoration of the Almighty. You have joined us right in the middle of one such ceremony, but this one is a little unusual. The exquisite tones of the Torben have always been an essential part of our rituals, but tragedy has struck and all the strings of our sacred instruments have been cut by some heartless fiend. In desperation, we've been reduced to what one might call the air torben, mimicking the parts that would normally be played on the torben and hoping that the Almighty can forgive us. But in truth, we know that this will not do, for we will soon attempt our most sacred ceremony, the restoration of the Almighty. For that, we must dance to the music of the sacred torben of truth. Restoring the Almighty is the most sacred duty of our people, but to attempt this using a torben with no strings, why it would be doomed to failure and would only bring shame on our ancestors. This is why I must humbly ask for your assistance yet again. We help us repair the Torben of Truth so that we may fulfill our sacred duty. Yeah, sure. I don't know how. Thank you, thank you. We're truly the savior of our people. Now let me tell you how the strings of the Torben of Truth may be replaced. There's a very rare item known as the Golden Mane. If we could acquire one, we might be able to repair the Torben of Truth. According to ancient stories of our people, it can be attained from the great hounds who guard a tower where flying horses dwell. I know this may sound like nonsense, but if you ever do come across such a place, please do your best to bring the item we need. We'll be, all be eternally grateful. So we need to go to the Pegasus, the Pillar of Pegasus or something? I've seen a fair bit of the world, but I've never heard of a tower filled with flying horses. I know this isn't going to be easy, but please do what you can. Without the Golden Mane, the Rumors won't be able to complete their sacred mission. I don't mean to pressure you, but we're all counting on you. All of us. Oh my god, let me talk to the dude. Welcome, you should have come, you've come just in time for my big performance. We can't get a note out of the Torbins, you see. We might have had to take another approach. Fingers crossed, my dulcet tones will please the Almighty. Okay, so we need to go to the Pillar of Pegasus. Right? Yeah, we need to go to the Pillar of Pegasus. I don't really remember where the Pillar of Pegasus is. Right there! Cool. Okay. We need to go to the Pillar of Pegasus and fight something. Um, you'll need to find a. S okay, we need to find something. That. We need to find one of these. A hot dog. Um, kaboom. Kazam. Kaswoosh. And then... Boom. Okay, 100 points of damage. You only need to find a single hot dog in the Pillar of Pegasus. You will automatically get the Golden Mane after the battle. Okay, cool. Thank God it was the first battle. Yay! Am I getting it? The hot dog is defeated. Did I get a golden mane? No. Here acquires the golden mane. Head back to the Romer and Canva to give it to Lala. 
whatever, I'll fight them. We need the as much experience as we can get. Kazam. Swoosh. Boom. They don't give us a lot of experience, but I think as much, we need to get as much as we can while we're here. I'm assuming we'll have to fight something when we get back. I'm assuming. Okay, time to leave. Pillar of Pegasus, it was lovely as always. But yay. I'm glad that that was simple. And it seemed to be a common enemy spawn. Yes. Hopefully that means we can finish the Altar of the Forgotten Past. I would love that. Hey, girl. Oh, there you are. I'm so happy to see you. Well, how did you get on? You give the golden mane to Lala. Oh, you have it. This is wonderful. Let me look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now we will be able to repair the turb the Turban of Truth. Thank you so much. Truly, you have helped us in our on in our hour of need. On behalf of all my people, I would like to offer you a small token of our gratitude. Here, take this. You've earned it. We got elevating shoes. And we completed, completed the No Music, No Life quest. Yay! Time to leave. I mean, I guess. The Torben of Truth is as good as new. Oh, I'm so happy I can barely find the words. Thank you so much for all that you've done. We've had enough of the Golden Mane left over to restring the other Torbins, and they're sounding better than ever. I can feel my baby kicking whenever they play. It's too soon to tell, but I think we might have another dancer on our hands. We managed to use the Golden Manes to restore the Torben of Truth. Blah, blah, blah. The Almighty surely can uh, ignore our prayers now. The Torben. Oh yeah, he's a father. Cute, cute, cute. It's a shame I won't be able to take my son or daughter to Estard, but that's just the way it is. I would have loved for them to meet their granddad and their auntie one day, not to mention my old pals. Oh, I'm assuming he's one of the party members? Maybe this is like after Dragon Quest whatever this is? Dragon Quest 7? Yay! We completed the Altar of the Forgotten Past. Yay! So now we have three altars down, seven to go. Yay! But I'm assuming this will have been 30 minutes? So I think that's going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!